Vermont is recognized for two minutes. Well, I thank my friend for yielding, and I don't know that I'll take the two minutes. But let me just say this. We have heard a lot of discussion about the bipartisan nature uh, of support for the intelligence budget, and that may well be on the Intelligence Committee. I don't think it is in the General House. Last year, when we offered an amendment to lower uh, the intelligence budget by 5 percent, we had 142 members who said no, that those do not reflect our priorities. And I think, Mr. Chairman, that when you go out on Main Street and you go to rural America and you go to urban America and you say to the folks there, many of whom, I should add, no longer vote, by and large have given up on the political process because they don't believe that this Congress represents their interests, and you say to them, should we increase funding for the intelligence budget and cut funding for Medicare? Should we allow a situation to continue where millions of elderly people in this country cannot afford their prescription drugs, or should we build more spy satellites? And you know what those people will tell you, in my view, and will tell you overwhelmingly? They will say, Congress, get your priorities right. This is an intelligence budget, so let's talk about how we can improve intelligence in America. Let's make sure that the little kids are able to get into the Head Start program. Let's make sure that millions of kids in this country who would like to go to college but today who cannot afford to go to college have that opportunity by significantly increasing the appropriations for the Pell Grants. That's what we're talking about. Now, nobody here is saying this is a peaceful world, that there are no problems. Nobody here is saying, let's cut the intelligence budget to zero. Nobody here is saying that the intelligence agencies do not serve a useful purpose. What we are saying is, get your priorities right. The Cold War is over. The middle class, the working families of this country are hurting. Don't cut programs for them in the name of deficit reduction and increased funding for the intelligence budgets. Thank you.